Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the wget command. And in order to demonstrate that, we're going to download a file from an HTTP website. And we're also going to download an entire website itself, basically a website that exists. We're going to download a copy of that onto our local computer. So if you want to learn how to do either one of those things, I invite you to stick around for the tutorial here. Okay, so um, you can download uh, wget on pretty much any operating system out there, Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, if you're on Windows, you can go to this URL, eternallyboard.org slash misc slash wget and download the binary for uh, Windows for wget. And then if you're on a Mac, you're gonna probably, if you're not familiar with brew, um, let me just show you real quick actually. Because I just want to be very clear about this, Brew Mac. So to get Brew on your computer, it's like a package manager for Mac. Uh, you just execute this command in a terminal window. And then once you have that, you can install uh, what wget on Mac with Brew install wget. Okay, so wget, if I can type wget. Okay, so uh, and then if you're on Linux, Ubuntu, for example, uh, or Debian, you can do apt get install wget. If it's not already installed, it's usually installed on those type of systems. But uh, that's that's it for installing it. It's cross-platform in that, in that sense where you can get it on pretty much any platform. And then the command itself, uh, what we do, although I'm on a Mac here today, uh, the command will be the same for you no matter what operating system you're gonna be on. So let's go ahead and download a file from the internet with wget. So let's first pick out the file that we want to download. I'm going to open up Chrome again and I'm going to search for the NASA Systems Engineer Handbook. Okay, and this is a PDF file. If you click on this link right here, you'll see that uh, it opens up the PDF and the PDF lives at this web address, nasa.gov uh, slash blah, 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 systems engineering handbook dot PDF. So what we're going to do is copy that URL and minimize this. And in our terminal window, no matter what operating system you're on, you're gonna type in wget and then paste the URL. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And hit uh, just to show that this uh, is actually happening in real time. Let me uh, let me actually open up a finder window. Sorry to keep the dispense, suspense going. So let's go to our desktop. Uh, we wanna see this file being downloaded to make it interesting. And then let's make a new folder in here called uh, temp. We'll open up the temp folder and put that to the side. And let's CD into the desktop, into the temp folder. Okay, so now let's do wget and then paste in our URL. And that will, you'll look over here to the right, you'll see that file download right into this directory. So hit enter, it's downloading. Pop, there it is. So here's our NASA Systems Engineering Handbook PDF. We can open that up. It now exists on our local computer. Very cool, right? So that's how you use wget to download uh, a file from the internet. It doesn't have to be a PDF file, it can be anything. And in fact, I'm gonna show you how to download a web page using wget. So let's open up the Chrome browser again, and this time we'll go to my serial blog at Serial Guru. So let's say that I really like this baby shark <laughs> serial uh, blog post. So I'm gonna copy the URL for that. And again, this is this is just a URL. It's not like a file or anything. Um, it's not a PDF, it's not a zip file. It's just the URL to this page right here. Uh, so we'll minimize that. And we can do something very similar. We can open up our finder window, which I got out of. So let's open that back up. We'll go into the desktop, the temp folder. We'll have that sitting back here. And then we'll do wget and then the URL that we want to get. So baby or serial guru, baby shark serial. Okay, hit enter. You'll see that download. It downloads as an index.html file. So if we open that, it's going to open up what seems to be the same exact web page, except there's not uh, an HTTPS, it's file colon slash 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 users this is this is serving directly this web page is serving directly off of my desktop in that temp folder from the index page whereas the real website is being served from a remote server somewhere 
https colon slash slash serial dot guru. So this again, host it locally. Now the thing about this is that um, uh, if you go to this link, it's gonna take you to the actual website, right? But what if you wanted to download the entire website? That's something that you can actually do with wget. So we'll go to the root URL, serial.guru. We'll copy that URL, minimize this, and we'll, do, we'll write the command to download the entire website, which is gonna look something like this. wget dash dash mirror, and then the name of the URL. Okay, so in this case, HTTPS colon slash slash serial dot guru. So we'll hit enter. And what the mirror flag does, the dash dash mirror, is it's going to recursively go through uh, all the subdomains or I'm sorry, all the subdirectories for the website and download them. And in addition to that, all of the images that are associated with each one of those blog posts. So you can see that it's, I know it's happening really quick, but you can see some JPEGs, some PNGs being downloaded. Um, all the different sizes. And if we, we can see this happening in real time, if we open up the temp directory, uh, we see all the individual blog posts. So there's our Baby Shark serial blog post. If we look in there, we see the index page for that. Um, we see all of, this is a WordPress website. So if we go to the WordPress content folder, uploads, we see all the different uploads when they were uploaded. So uh, here's um, some images for this specific blog post. Uh, there might be more in this one. Yeah, so here's a whole bunch of different images. So we have um, Sour Patch. This is the big one, uh, smaller one, smallest one, even smaller one, all the different size images. So when you go to one of these pages, let's go uh, to Hershey's Kisses Serial, open that up from our local file system. And you'll see that it does. It opens it up from our local file system. Uh, it's being served from there, and it is a complete copy of that website at that moment in time. Now, the thing about this is, if you go to, uh, if you hover over this link, it's not going to take you to the local copy. It's going to, if you look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it's going to take you to the actual website. So there's something that we have to do uh, to the wget command to tell it to convert. The, the links within the pages to make it go locally, right? So um, if that doesn't make sense, I'll show you what that means in a second. So let's actually get rid of this uh, serial guru. We'll move that to the trash and we'll, do, we'll execute that command again, but this time we're gonna give it a couple more links. So we'll give it the dash dash mirror, uh, did I say links, a couple more arguments. So uh, we're gonna give it w, or dash dash mirror. We're also gonna say dash dash page requisites, which is going to get some, if, if it didn't already, like the CSS files, JavaScript files, all that stuff, dash dash convert links. And that's what's the key here, converting links so that it's not going to go back out to the website. It's going to stay locally. Um, and then uh, dash no clobber, dash dash no parent. And uh, I forgot a dash here, no clobber. No parent, um, and this just means that it's not going to duplicate anything. This just means that um, it's not going to go outside of the the serial uh, guru. If if you are in a subdirectory, it's not going to go above that. Um, and then we're only going to stick in the domain serial guru. So if there is a link to something like Google or you know you have you have subdomains or anything, we're only gonna, we only care about pages for serial guru. So this is a more complete. Uh, way to do this. So we can try it again. Let's execute that. And it'll take the same amount of time to uh, download everything. But you'll notice here, so if we go while this is happening, um, eh, where's our baby shark? There's our baby shark. If we look at the source code for this, uh, we'll open it with a text editor. You'll see that right now. Um, let's find a link in this page. This might be overwhelming for some of you. Uh, but let's look for serial.guru. So yeah, so this is still uh, link, the, the source code looks like it's linking to the actual website. Um, but now uh, at the end, we didn't see this before, the very last thing it does is it converts all those links to be local links. Okay, so if we see uh, Baby Shark Serial, here we go. It converted the links for the Baby Shark Serial page. So let's go ahead and see if that actually did it. We'll open up the page on our local system now and everything looks fine visually, 
And when we hover over this link, you'll see that instead of linking out to the actual website, uh, down here you'll see uh, it's linking to the local locally hosted copy of the web page. So we can click on that and you see we stay locally uh, for the website. We don't go back out to serial.guru. Okay, hopefully uh, that all makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.